Right, I've, uh, this is a guitar lesson for Jesus was a bootlegger. I'm hanging out in Riceville Beach. Uh, I just had a fabulous wedding of a friend. We're just relaxing today. This is from my friend Ralph Phillips up in uh, Canada. I met at the Eaglewood Folk Festival. He contacted me about being able to play this song. Jesus was a bootlegger has two chords. It's a D and a G. And the chorus only has a D in it. So... Uh, it's that second chord that'll get you. Here's the, uh, there's a guitar riff that sort of introduces and closes a lot of the parts. And that guitar riff, you need to drop your E to a D, so you've got your, your A string, your E string, drop your E, down to a D, so you got that. And then the, uh, the riff is going to go like this, if I can get my neck in a little picture there. Okay, here's the nut. So you go up to the 5th fret on the A string, along with the open D, same note, and then a bend on the 5th fret of the E string, which is now down to a D. So it's 5th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret. When I play the song, I just start singing it right off. On the north side in a hollow tree. And here's the G chord. It's like this. I'm holding my third finger over to the fifth fret of the E string. You know, G, G chord is usually like that, but we drop the E down to a D, so we got to go up higher to play the same G note. So it's like that. I just reach up, and then I play the rest of the G like that. And I sort of mute the A string. There's nothing really going on with the A string. That little thing I just did. Daddy made a true believer out of me. And third and fifth frets are what it's all about. I had a little trouble with the revenue man. But daddy went to court with a Bible in his hand. I do my time, I pay my fine. that chorus I'm going on the first beat I'm one two three four boom that's because the genius bass player uh, whose name is Neil Fountain who played on the album did that he's like boom boom did all kinds of different stuff too but he always went boom boom at the beginning of that chorus and I thought that was awesome so I started doing it myself so I can't claim uh creation of that. I'm doing a YouTube guitar lesson. So, uh, and then all the other verses are the same as that. Uh, what's that next verse? Matthew was a ever new man. That's my friend Bean back there. He wrote the holy word with his right hand. And then the, uh, all the choruses and verses are the same. For the solo, you can play either something over the chorus, which would just be Ds. Um, when I'm doing it solo, it's more interesting to me to go from the D to the G chord and play it like a verse. So when I go to the solo, it's like... structure there for that. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You can uh, easily leave me a comment here or email me at info, I-N-F-O, at JonathanBird.com and ask me any questions you want to ask. 
The, uh, the song is off of the record, This Is The New That, which is on iTunes, it's on waterbug.com, you can get the hard copy of it, uh, CD Baby, any of that stuff. So uh, talk to me. All right, thanks for listening.